Hey everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the hive for like the third time in two days. Hi Susan Bellamy from Florida. I bet you're rocking and rearing and ready to go for the rock legend kit and panda friends. Yay, I'm so excited. I, I figured out without having to click too many buttons how to get my live going so I saw you were ready and that means I'm ready too. We have two kits that we are gonna be putting together today, you guys. One is called Rock Legend and the other is Panda Friends. So starting in the new year, 2024, Stampin' Up! is gonna be introducing two new kits every month versus just one. And instead of putting two different days and times on the calendar, I just thought, let's not just do them all, both at the same time, <laughs> right? So, so that's what we're doing. We are going to make two kits today, um, and they should be pretty pretty painless uh, compared to yesterday morning for me. <laughs> yesterday morning, if you missed it, we did the um, the Share, Create, Inspire card class. Hi, Judy Sharp, and it was it was good. It was definitely uh, a lot, and it was fun. In case you didn't see that, you could go back and learn how to wow, make an awesome fun fold. Uh, Krista Albert sent me a recipe, and uh, yeah. It, it, it was, I wanted to change and I was talking to her about it last night. I said, if I would have just left it as how you had the measurements, I would have been good. But I decided to like, oh, I'm going to rechange, I'm going to change up the measurements and expand my designer paper and that kind of hose me up mentally. <laughs> Hi, Mary Lemke. Hi, Brenda Loveless. Uh, there's Linda Hall. So you guys, I'm so excited. In the back over here on this side, you can see the celebration board. Number three drawing is going to be held today. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. Hi, Anna Carter. Hi, Donna Winter. Hi, Sherry Martin. Um, so help hold me accountable that I don't forget. It's sitting in front of me. Like, I can see it, so it's in front of me. Um, it's behind me, but it's really, like, I can see it. So we are not going to forget to do a drawing for a third person to win a $25 gift certificate. I have my numbers over there, so I'll have to grab them. You can see I got, so Bonnie makes fun of me. When I have a little tail like this coming out of my hair, she hates it. She's like, you have a little rooster tail coming out of your hair. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's all good. I don't notice it. That I can't see behind me. So it doesn't bother me as much as it might other people. But yeah, so she always wants me to tuck that away. <laughs> so, all right. And on the back side over here, you guys, I am purposely leaving this here. Um, this was all the happy mail I got over the last maybe month, uh, since, since Christmas time was rolling in. I have a gift from um, Laura Sullivan, a little bee pot uh, decoration for the garden. And I have all of these, this pile here is Happy Mail. And I, <laughs> I think I need a separate video just for the Happy Mail. And I'm trying to figure out when I can sneak that in, but I don't want to move it. I know it looks cluttery and it looks not pretty. I get that, but if I put it somewhere else out of sight, I might not get to it. And I want to share my happy mail with you guys. So that's why that's still sitting there. So that's, there's little gifts in there from people too. So I want to share that with everybody. So, so mind the clutter and the mess behind me. Don't, I should say, don't mind it. <laughs> so awesome. Well, I think we're just going to rock and roll. Get it? Rock and roll legend. <laughs> legend rock <laughs> um, going on the kits. Uh, we've had, this is like maybe the fourth class of the week. I think we had Mystery Car Night on Monday. We had Share, Create, Inspire yesterday morning. We had class last night. We have class again. I think the smartest thing I did this week after coming out of the escape is not planning any in-person classes this week. I don't have class until tomorrow, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's kind of a a cluster over here. Uh, I don't know. There's stuff all over, <laughs> all over the place. You guys, it's like, it's a hot mess in there. And uh, I would have been moving stuff left and moving stuff right and pack and forth. They had We had in-person class. So I have until tomorrow now to get this cleaned up. <laughs> so, oh, so yes, Linda loves looking at Happy Mail. So I I have lots of it, you guys, and I purposely saved everybody's card inside the envelope so that I wasn't um, having to guess who gave me anything, so I kept everything all kind of like straight up. Um, so yeah, eventually we will get to that. There's a few things on the docket that are going to be coming um, for the lives. One is swap cards from the customer side. One is swap cards over on this side from the event side, the dem Dazzling Demonstrators and event. And then I have a Happy Mail Live that I think we need to do, not think, I know. And then we also have a year-end guessing game 
um, review that we need to do. So you guys, uh, if you're still answering questions from the urine guessing game, I haven't pulled the answers yet. I, I shouldn't say that. I have the answers. I haven't pulled the winners yet. So so there's there's never enough hours in the day, <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys probably agree with me. All right. So we're going to dro drop the camera down, you guys, and we're going to get to it. I have coffee today. Yay. It's morning. So I'm still working on my coffee, you guys. Can't deny that I'm a, a coffee drinker. The one drug that I'm addicted to is caffeine. Can't deny that. Yesterday morning, the struggle bus was real because I didn't have water, and uh, so we didn't have coffee because I didn't bother to put the bottles of water in the coffee machine. I just went by Diane and said, so this was the mystery card, you guys, in case you missed it, and this was the Share, Create, Inspire card class that we did yesterday. In case you missed it, you guys can go back and watch how to make these awesome cards. I'm contemplating doing a card like this for your celebration hoorah rah class next month. Would you guys like that? Um... You would cut your own edges off. I wouldn't cut them for you. I would have my helpers score uh, the paper appropriately. I'd have your mats come up with a design, use some celebration paper, make a nice landscape. Um, I'd leave this piece whole back here so you guys can decide if you want to score it. I guess, would you like this as a celebration hoorah rah class card? Um, that's what I'm, I went to bed thinking about that. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Hildy. Um, that's what I went to bed thinking about last night is would that, would that make a good class card? All right. First time catching me live. Awesome, Mimi. That's very great. I'm so happy you're here with me. Um, you guys, since Mimi's new, I'm just going to call it out here. Uh, I have a really pretty one of these. You guys, <laughs> this is how, hang on. I'll show you what I have. <laughs> So I've been using this little slip of paper because this is what I made many years ago. Probably like three years we've been using this ugly little piece of paper that I can easily like switch out my host code. But you guys, I had the Kelly make this really pretty thing. And uh, like, I'm going to put this here, right? It's so pretty. It's got my, all my information. I can have a spot here for the host code. But you guys, I got to find five minutes to turn the laminator on and then heat the, get it, get it like fire up the old laminator and laminate my sheet here. So, cause until I laminate it, I can't put the host code on here. It's just a piece of copy paper, but yeah, isn't that gonna be so pretty instead? Like very nice, very nice. Now the question is, it's not as big as I probably should have it. Tell me I could have Kelly remake it for me. So Kelly does this kind of stuff for me. It looks kind of small compared to this one and as not as easy to read, is it? Um, so I feel like it should be like a little bit, a little bit bigger. I'm going to tape it down. So like I'll cover it up like I always do when I get working on stuff. But um, I feel like it could be bigger because you guys probably have a hard time. Like you can read the cards by Christine, but I'm looking in the camera. It's kind of hard to read some of this other information. So if you guys, I love the layout. Thanks, Sherry. She loves it too. I love the layout. It's really pretty with the bees, but I feel like we could stretch it a little bit and just make it bigger so that it's easier for you guys to read. So um, most of you guys have my contact information, but I do have new people that watch me and sometimes it's nice to be able to read that easy. So now I'm wondering if I should make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Input is always appreciated, you guys, just so you know, I'm, I'm wiggling my camera here just a little bit. There we go. All right. So we are going to start with the Panda Friends Kit. Now, Kits are awesome because you can take them with you. They're very portable. Um, if you're just starting out stamping, it really is a nice way to get started. I have this awesome little slice thing that kind of opens up the plastic without ripping paper. So um, so that's always nice. The old one is easier to get at glance. Yes, yes. The e it's easier to get. Yes. Slightly bigger would be better. I agree. So it's good that we talked about this this morning, so I know I'll have Kelly make a little bit bigger one. Hopefully she saved it. Uh, kits also are a cost-effective way to make handmade greeting cards if you don't want to consume or purchase a lot of supplies. Uh, my goal with this class is never to make like alternatives. My goal with this class with you guys is to show you the kit and show you how easy it is to put it together. Uh, last time, hi Jennifer Summers, you can, you can zoom in during the video too. True, very true. They could always zoom in. I get it, That that's always an option. But I also think a little bit bigger might help. Um, the, some of the eyes sometimes aren't, oh, I mean, I had a hard time reading it in my eye. I don't have the best eyes in the world. So, um, uh, so I like to put these together just to show you how easy it is to do the kit. And then 
I know in the past we've like last time we added a couple bases to like zhuzh them up. Um, if I get inspired or like feel like that's what we could do, we do that. But I, my goal is to really just to show you what's in the kit and then you can make a decision. Do you like it? Do you not like it? It's kind of like trying something before you buy it, right? It gives you the opportunity to be like, yep, I like it. I want it. Or like, nope, I don't want it. It's all good. You turn it to somebody else. So it gives you a sheet of the dimensionals. There's some really pretty sequins in here. These are actually, they're white. They kind of remind me of the sequins that you get with the pink, the green, and the white that are in the annual catalog. You get an instruction sheet here, and it shows you the four cards of each style, and then they each have matching envelopes. And the inside here has the instructions for card one and card two. And that's what we got. So we kind of look through this, and as a um, as a group, if you like the idea of one of these kits, they make great gifts too, right? So if you have a niece or a granddaughter or a sister or a mother or anybody that is into making cards um, that's just starting off, like these are great for beginners um, and gifts because everything is all inclusive for this kit. These envelopes are adorable. I'm just opening this for the first time with you guys. I really didn't look at it beforehand. <laughs> so I'm learning that the kit class is probably like one of my favorite classes because it's um, it's a lot less stressful for me <laughs> to go through. So um, in, in terms of materials too, because everything is all prepared for me. Like all I do is open this up and like just start putting things together. Uh, this is a little bit of parakeet party is what my guess would be for this envelope. I love how they uh, put a little white spot in the middle here for the address so that the mailman has an easier time reading the person's address. The inside is decorated. So these great, the, the kits are also great if you want to cut pieces. Like look, the inside is completely decorated. Uh, people are known to like cut these apart and use this inside piece to make something else that's crafty and creative. All right, so we've got our envelopes ready to go. I like putting the kit together in its entirety with you because I don't get um, kit build up. <laughs> like with Paper Pumpkin, Kelly does the Paper Pumpkin class with you guys. And so she only puts like one of each together and then she does alternatives. Wow. And then I end up getting Paper Pumpkin pile up. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if you can hear. I can see if you guys can see it. Watch this. Uh, nope, wait, I had it right. This is... And I'm going to try to not mess up my camera too bad. But there's my paper pumpkin pile up, you guys. You see them all? There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of them right there. They reside. I'm going to have to, like, get this situated. All right, one moment, please. Hang on. You get to see a, the boob shot there. Hang on. This needs to go back up. I know I was going to risk doing that, but um, we can get this set up back. And there it is. Okay. So, you guys... Paper pumpkin pileup is a thing. It really, <laughs> it does happen. Uh, so one of the things I like about the kit class when I do it with you is I feel like I need to put this kit together in its entirety or I'm going to get kit build up just like my paper pumpkin pileup. So uh, when Angelique McClendon was here for the Autumn Create Escape, girlfriend helped me out. She put a, she finished off a couple of them for me so that I could be like, okay, I can use these cards. So we have different languages here. There's four different languages. And this one says, love you lot. So I'm going to be going for the love you lot. So this is what we call an all-inclusive kit, meaning you don't need stamps or ink or a chamois to clean. Like you also end up with these extra little, these extra little word bubbles. And you're wondering, well, I don't need that language. Okay, that's fine. You know, if you got yourself a little circle punch that was, so these are about one and a quarter. If you got yourself a little one inch punch, a little circle punch, you could circle punch a little one inch white circle, stamp a sentiment on it, and then you could use these the, uh, the edging here as like a border for um, a decoration on a card. So instead of just throwing these away, you could reuse, reuse them into something else. Um, they'd have a nice pop of color. So I being who I am, I'm going to pop these out and I am starting a little basket on my counter in the mudroom. And it's gonna say, it has a little slip of paper that Kelly just made for me um, with a B frame. And it says, from me to you, take what you will use, make something pretty. So you guys, instead of throwing these away, I know there's somebody out there that would take these and make something pretty with them. So, all right, 
we have our insides. So, our, I should say our card bases, our insides are blank on this. So there's no sentiments for stamping on the inside. But hopefully if you guys have any sentiments at home, you could definitely stamp what you want on the inside. I might just go do that. Because if I don't stamp on the inside now, <laughs> to do it in the moment is hard, right? So we've got those four bases and we have those four bases. So those those looked like they were already nice and crisp. And these little mats, they will go with these cards right here. We have some green grassy hill here that will go on the long skinny cards. Let's just pull those out. Some people will even find a purpose for this outline. This stuff right here, you could use this as a strip on a card for extra decoration. All right. So your call what you want to do with this. Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then we have our pandas who are partying. So let's, you have to be very careful when you pop these out. You don't want to pop off their little antennas. So we've got little extra arms here. So you have an armless panda at the moment. Poor little guy. All right. So those arms go on the top though. We'll make, we'll make sure that he or she gets her arms, his arms, its arms back. Uh, so let's not break off the little antennas. Okay. There's those. And then, so there are two sheets of these die cuts. I like to just die cut them out at the same time. And instead of taking one sheet at a time, it just makes it half the amount of time to pop these out. To me, this little edging is really not useful, so I will definitely throw that away. And now I think we have all of our bits and pieces ready. So, oh, <laughs> hi, Polly Livy. All right. So, it does encourage you, or I do encourage you guys to read instructions before you start. I learned that in school many, many moons ago. You know, like when you were baking that cake and it had to say, you know, there's some trick at the end that you had to do um, and then you didn't do it because it was too late because you already went through everything in the beginning. So we have here these pieces. The panda with the arms goes here. The little blue go here. All right. And then that must mean that this and these go there. And this little guy, I wonder if they're extra I don't think that these have a purpose. I feel like they might just hang out there for a moment. And it does have one, one, two. Okay, card two. So instruction one is popping this up with dimensionals. All right, so let's fold, fold this back and see what it says here. <laughs> All right. So it's saying to pop this up. There's little um, dimensionals there. So this gets popped up with dimensionals. Now, you could figure out if there's a direction to the, there's like palm trees is what it looks like. You could look to see if there's direction to them, but I don't know if there really is direction. So I'm just going to go with how I had it. And it's saying to pop that up with dimensionals. And then you have here, oh, those aren't the ones I want. You want this little dude here. And then there's some arms underneath here. And it's saying that they get popped up. And then it says, love you lots. And then it has some sequins on. So that's about it for this one. I don't think there's much other crazy going on. So let's, me being me, you guys know me, I like to just like make things happen at the same time. All about efficiency here. I was a proud member of the FFA in high school for four years. And all these little projects they had us doing, it taught me to be efficient. <laughs> so... I like to do all the steps that I can on each card at the same time. And I think I'm going to put some right through. I know it only showed three, you guys, but I am a little bit more than three-dimensional kind of person on the back of a mat this big. So we're going to put dimensionals on everything. And then we're going to pick them all off. And we're going to put our card together. So there's that. And then it did also say behind our panda that there should be dimensionals. Let's flip all these over. Now, the arms seem a little bit small to be using the big dimensionals. So, now here's the other thing though. The panda 
has its legs. So when we put this down and then the panda is like in the middle here, the legs are actually going to be on this mat, which is going to be raised. So when we put our dimensionals on the back of our panda, we want to be careful not to put them on its legs. So we're going to put them the back of the head and like by his butt, I guess I would say, like that, like that. And then I think I will pull in some small dimensionals and use the small ones for the arms instead of using the big ones. They seem like they'll fit a little bit or no, you didn't get the small dimensionals in this pat this kit, you got the regular, but you could always cut those in half too to make them a little bit smaller. All right, so, I feel like that's all of it. Now, this is where you want to be careful if you have critters or animals at home uh, or kids <laughs> and they might like jump up on top of this. Uh, you want to be careful because if the cat would jump up here, I would know that they would all get stuck to his underbelly at like one moment, <laughs> all in one false swoop. So, uh, and being careful if you have big baggy sleeves, you want to make sure that you're not, your sleeves aren't catching when you take all these dimensionals off at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have a hot mess going on. So little by little, you guys, I like to... So I'm good at using my fingernail to pick off dimensionals, but I know that there are people out here that live and die by this pokey tool, and you can also, in one false swoop, pick up... I picked up, like, two there. If you catch the dimensional back just right, you can poke, like, pull off that... Pat. So I catch it in the middle, and then I swoop up with it, if you get it like that, you can get all of them. So I got three there. I can't go quite as fast with the pokey tool as I can with my nail, but I can show you how to use that pokey tool. So that one's done. We're going to set that there. We'll pick these off. So I can do the whole thing like that. All right. And then we have that guy's ready to go. That one's ready. That's ready. 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 Okay. We're prepped, we're, ra we're ready to rock and roll. All right, the mat will go here. And again, figure out if there's a certain way. Once you put this down though, it's really hard to pull it back up. So I kind of get the top lined up, that lined up, holding this up in the air. And once I feel like three sides are straight, I'm gonna assume my fourth side is straight. Yes, shouldn't assume, but that's what I do. I have to trust the process. Hi, Carmen Sanders. All right, so get that pretty much lined up, ready to go. Okay, one more here. So I wore my black and white shirt in honor of the Rock Legend kit that we're putting together. <laughs> All right, here's this one right here. And let's get that lined up. All right, the, the panda, I'm just eyeballing based off of what I see here. There's a little gap with its head and the ears are kind of overlapping the edge a little bit. So we're gonna do that. And then it's holding a cute little envelope with a heart on it. So there's one, here's another. Arms please, there we go. Make sure they look like they're attached to the socket, right? <laughs> Not that they're coming out of outer space. And then get that one down like that. There we go. And then the last one over here. So are you thinking about how you could zhuzh it up a little bit? Um, you could definitely, if you wanted, you could, like we did on one of the last kits, we cut the base off and added another mat to it. You could add a real red card base and then use this as a mat or save it for something else. Um, you could definitely use it up a little bit. This it's showing also popped up. So let's grab these four and I think I'll just use one big dimensional right in the middle of this one. And then we'll pop those on. So if you're having a birthday party, for your granddaughter or for your daughter or a niece or you got some, this would be a great little party gift. So if you had a little birthday, girl's birthday party, you can invite all the girls over 
and everybody could make one of these kits or like a kit or one of the cards. Like if you have 10 girls or 12 girls, you could get two kits and you could have them each make a card and it would be really easy to pull this together um, as a little party favor that everybody gets to make a card. Like the work is all done. All you really have to do is pop your pieces apart. And then it does show it with these gems. Shows three of them. <laughs> it shows it here, there, and there. On the on the instruction here, it shows one, two, three, and I don't like where they are. So <laughs> I'm gonna change it. And I think I'm gonna put, I'm thinking two there and one there. And there's a, I always like to put a big and a small together, right? I just, there's something that I do. I don't know if you guys notice that. I always love a big and a small together and a floral arrangement will tell you to do threes. So I always put an odd one somewhere else and then I alternate. So like that one, I did a big and a small, like I, and then I'll do that again. And to keep it even, then on the next one, I will use a big one because by the time we get done, we still have even amounts of them used. So this is where the putty end comes in really handy for the take your pick tool. It should pick it up. I missed it, that one, but now I got it. So now I'm gonna do a big one, and on the next one, I'll do a small one. Um, pushing down the gems is important. You just got them. Can't wait to put it. They are cute. Yes, Polly, they are very cute. I'm glad that you got them, and you can get them together. Lickety split is what I would say for this one. You guys, <laughs> well, I don't even know if I was. I wasn't looking at the clock to see when we started, but it's only 11.30, and we got, we got four cards done, and they look adorable with these matching envelopes. And so I love how they decorated the outside of the envelope and the inside of the envelope. So when you open this up, you can see both. I, I'm a bigger fan of decorating the outside of the envelope with color versus the inside because the inside you generally don't see. So boom, there we go. We got those four done fast, very fast, very good. Okay, now these, let's see what's uh, in store for us with these guys. All right, so we've got those extra. I feel like chicken tonight. Nope, just kidding. Fish tonight, right? For Friday, we got our Friday fish fry day. We do that a lot here in the Holy Land area. So we call this area the Holy Land because there's a lot of churches built up on hills. And we have supper clubs in every area or every city, it seems. And uh, so a lot of people in this area go out for Friday night fish fry and old fashions. So this is the area that is known for that. This is also looking like they each get a dimensional. So it looks like each one has its own special little face. So we're gonna make sure we keep, keep them organized when we put them together that we don't duplicate. Look at all these, it's like <laughs> so many pandas. Here you guys, this is, I gotta do this. I gotta do this just to see how scary or funny this looks. All right, the pandas have taken over the board, okay? <laughs> That's why I had to do that. All right, they are adorable. All right, let's flip these all over. Let's flip our filter. Okay, so a lot of people go out for fish fry. So we're waiting on my parents to see if they wanna go out for fish tonight. We called them up last night and said, hey, mom and dad, you guys, we haven't gone for a fish fry for in about a month. <laughs> well, do you wanna go for a fish? And so... We're waiting for them to get back to us to let us know if we go for a Friday night fish fry for dinner. All right. I'm pop our dimensionals on all of these. And it's nice that they provided a sheet here that should have enough. And if not, we can always dip into our own supply. So there's that. And then the grassy hill also shows dimensionals. Hi, Emily Buska. Yes, you guys, I love me an old fashioned. Um, if you had to guess what I would, would I be a sweet or a sour? I'm curious, what would you guys think I am? A sweet or a sour? And um, I do like mushrooms and I like cherries in my old fashioned, which can kind of be confusing for a bartender. Because usually when you order a sour, you don't get cherries in a sour. And when you order a sweet, you don't get mushrooms. And so... All right, we're gonna just pop these on. And I think I'm gonna be using the edging. Let's see here, a couple more there and there. 
and here, and when I get to the end here, it gets really thin. Oh, I missed one over here. Hang on, let's get that one. Getting to the end here. But I think what I'm going to do, sour. Catherine says sour. Marsha Kulbert says, where do you go for a fish fry? Uh, you guys, um, there's many places. I think my favorite place to go is actually 1111 Burgers and Beignets. They have a fabulous, fabulous fit fabulous fish fry on Friday nights. And so I've heard the American Legion has a great fish fry. I've heard the Eagles Club in Fond du Lac has a good fish fry. Now, I haven't had either of theirs, but um, I definitely would pick um, 1111 Burgers and Beignets. Uh, if you are from the Appleton area, uh, the Black Otter in Hortonville is by far the best fish fry around town. Not it's Well, so they're an hour from me, so depending where you're from. Okay, you guys, there we go. Um, are sour, are you already sweet? Ha <laughs> ha, Anna says I'm sour because I'm already sweet. Thanks. And actually, I do like um, Southern Comfort Old Fashions with sweet. So I usually opt for 7-Up. So, um, so I am actually a sweet Old Fashioned girl. But I do like my mushrooms and I like my cherries. So... All good stuff. So um, I definitely have gotten good at making them. Tyler absolutely loves when I make him old fashions here at home. And uh, so, yeah, it's all good, all good, all good. So there we go. We got all of our grass ready to go. Now, here's the trick. We don't want to put this on crooked, right? Uh, let's do here. I'm just going to line that edge up. And hopefully just drop this. I wouldn't do it uh, mid-air like this, but for some, I got my whole board here full of sticky dots. All right, so there's one. Check. Let's do a second one. Let me get that edge lined up. And right straight to the bottom. Check. Got two done. Uh, brandy is good as well. Definitely, definitely. My dad loves blackberry brandy. That is his thing. My parents never drank a lot while we were growing up. Like, very rare did I see my parents drink. Um, but now in their older years, um, maybe in the last five years, um, I wouldn't say they're old, right? I look at my parents and I don't think they're old, right, at all. Um, I feel like they will be around for forever, right? <laughs> like your parents can't age, right? Um, but in the last maybe five to ten years, I've actually seen my mom drinking um, her fuzzy navels and my dad drinking his blackberry brandies, and they drink wine now, um, a certain wine. <laughs> it's like grape juice wine, <laughs> but you know, a little bit of a little bit here and there won't hurt you. So, all right, I'm picking all my little pandas apart now. We're gonna get them prepped and ready. Um, and we'll put those onto our card fronts and see what we can make happen here. I think those are picked off already. All right. So we have a guy that's waving. He's like, Hey bro, what's up? Put you, he's covering up that one. I see. And his hand is kind of hitting this. That's what I, I look at the sample and I get an idea of where to set things. I'm not going to press it down hard in case he needs to be finagled or moved. And then the other one must be this guy. He's like, hey, what's up? Look at me. And he's going to go right about there. And we've got this one here. Okay, that's good. I'm good with that. Let's see here. This guy's going back here. We have a little bubble with a hay there. And this guy can go in the middle. And he's going right about, okay, so I squished him. So we're going to move him over a little bit here. He looks, he looks to be like I'm concerned about him. His face looks like he either did something mischievous and he is about to be like figured out. <laughs> but he, his eyes look like, oh man, what did I do? I just ate the cookie from the cookie jar. All right. And this one's going to go over here. This one goes about there. And we got him and air bubbles. Hey there, cutie pies. All right, back with him. And that one, that one cracks me up. I feel like he's mischievous. 
All right. Perfect. Gemsies. So it's showing gems. I see two there and one there. Again, not my most ideal perfect spot. So I'm going to rearrange them. I'm going to do, I think there's a lot left. So we're going to do one there and one here. And then we'll do a big one over there. So I've got one, two, and three. Push them down. Now, Stella would be a great thing to use on this. You could Stella anything and everything you want. There's no stamping at the moment going on. So it won't worry, you don't have to worry about bleeding. And I think I'm gonna use a big, whoa, that came out. Didn't want that. So I'm just gonna pick that up and put the big one like that. With sequins, sometimes it's easier to, you can get underneath the sequin and it can fly through the air and then you can catch it. There's that, we'll go there. And one more card left. All right. There we go. So I was thinking about this. There was a celebration set back in, oh, let me go look. Let me see if I can find it really fast. I was looking for pandas and it was under party pandas. This set was a celebration set from moons ago, many moons, but it would be adorable to put one of these little dudes on the inside, especially this other card here, because look, it's holding an envelope with a heart and you could stamp the little note in here and then it could say happy birthday on the inside. Um, so yes, perfecto changeo. I think that's what I can do. So again, you know, I was thinking about this. This whole online exclusives has changed us because we're so used to having things in a catalog and being able to cross them off, like not cross them off, but mark them that you have them. You're able to see things personally in a catalog. And now that they're gravitating to three times a year having online exclusives and these kits not being in a catalog that it's making it like hard to know what you have or remember what you have. And it's like a lot of people are having a harder time with that. And I get that. I was like, I don't know if I should design with these online exclusives because if I go to design with them and then next month the paper's not available or the stamp sets retired or gone by the time I actually have my class, how am I supposed to work with that. Okay. So it's been a challenge, I guess you could say. And over the last maybe month or so, I've been warming up to, okay, well, if here's the deal, if I design a class and I use this shining Christmas paper that was in my fun folds back for the holiday fun folds. And by the time we actually had class, that paper was retired. I'm like, I'm not redesigning my class. I'm like, I just I'm like, I'm good. Like you guys are just going to end up having to work with or design with, or um, put your cards together and the product might be retired and you might reach out to me and say, well, where do I get that paper? And I might be like, I'm sorry, it's a retired thing now because, so it's that whole, like that has been hard, right? But to the same token, this is something where they came out with a product and yeah, it's a kit and it might be gone not next month or it might be gone in two months. Um, but now I'm starting to appreciate like the stamp set here that they came out with a couple years ago. You might think, well, I have a stamp set that could coordinate really nicely with these pandas and you could use this stamp set to add your inside in. And so you can appreciate like the different products that Stampin' Up! has that, that coordinate very nicely together, even though it's something that is retired. And I don't mind showing this. At this point, I'm like, hey, this is a stamp set that Stampin' Up! had. It's, it's not current by any means. It's probably three years or some years old. But if you have it, you can use it So um, to use your for your inside. Anyways, so that's just a little side note like of the struggle of using online exclusives or kits, right, in a business that you run because 
that stuff could disappear very fast. And that's how they promote this is it's while supplies last. So if you're inspired by this and you really like it, you know, don't wait three months or six months to get it. I would get it sooner rather than later if you really want it. And if you don't really want it, then at least you can see that now and you can make that decision. So I'm excited because I found this really fast. I'm very happy. Um, I'm so happy with Party Pandas. I was looking for PAN. Um, so I'm going to go, I won't do it now, but I can stamp that later and get my insides put together. Um, all right. So that is the first kit that we were going to work on today. And we are going to do, and there are gems left over and there are some dimensionals left over. We can always use what we have. Exactly. And so that is a good point um, with the retired or, you know, stuff using. I've taken this big, like, well, if I design a card, as long as I have enough materials to kit what I need to kit for you guys, and you get a kit that has at the moment when you open it up, something that's retired, it is what it is, right? I, I can't control things that are out of my control. And as long as I'm ready for kitting and I have the embellishments and the ribbon and the gems I need for you guys for your kits, that's what we're going with. And I've just learned to like, let it go, <laughs> right? That's all we can do. It's just paper, Naughty Nancy would say. All right. So we have here our rock legend kit. This is another one that is all inclusive. So there are no stamps. There's no blocks. There's no ink. Everything is included here. So honestly, you, if you are traveling, if you had a scissors, I, you guys can see that's the only thing I really pulled in here was a scissors. If this, you could take it out of the box and it's, it's really flat. So you doesn't take up a lot of space. If you are traveling and you're putting cards together, I would bring a little thing because once you make the cards, you're going to want them um, secure in some structural thing so that they don't get wrecked. All right. Another one where there's gems. So these gems definitely remind me of the Hey Sports Fan suite from last year. I think it was last year. There were some stars in there that were blue and red, and that's what these remind me of. You got a little poly bag uh, and some dimensionals. Not as big as the other ones, but there is there are some dimensionals. And we've got these pieces. Now, what did they do with the envelope? See, here's, I'm not the biggest fan of the insides of the envelope being like this. I would absolutely love for the flap, like the back of the flap to be decorated so that when you fold it over, you, so right now it's just a plain blank white envelope. Some people, again, will cut, will cut this apart and they'll use that in their designing and for their creating, which is great. But I'd rather have that flap be colored. So, all right. So let's get these folded, our envelope flaps. And we've got some with black and some with red. So now this coordinates with a suite in the new mini catalog that's called rock and roll. I think, I think of, I always think of rock and roll, which you go rock and roll and um, it coordinates very nicely. All right. So we've got all of our envelopes and then I'll put them all together and I'll really crease them like this at the same time. Thanks Sherry Everett. Don't forget the thumbs up. I appreciate that. All right. So okay, I almost pushed that off of there, but it doesn't come off. So these are our bases. And one by one, I'm going to burnish them. And I didn't even get to the instructions yet, you guys. So there's three. All right, so there's our fourth of this one. All right, I'm working my way down the pack here. So it looks like there's different languages again. So... This one says, you rock, and that's the one we're gonna want. So there's four of them here. I just pulled them all at the same time. This one is in German. There's also one in French, I believe. And what could you do with these picks? Um, you could, in essence, they look like little candy corns to me. Um, you could, in essence, put a strip over the cross, like over the top of these with a different sentiment, and you get to utilize the top and the bottom of them. Or if you have friends in other countries where these are the language that they speak, you could also donate that to them. And this one, you're a legend. So let's pull out all those. And then happy birthday is here. So 
What though could you do with these? Look, if you flip them over, you could stamp a little baby sentiment on these and use these. So instead of tossing them, you could utilize these little banners. The same with these. You could utilize all these little rectangles. This, I'm not gonna say. All right, so again, these I'll go, I think I'll put them in my little basket for somebody to utilize. And we have some yellow bases here. Looks like crushed curry to me. And there's four of those as well. So this kit also has eight cards. It's four of one design and four of the other design. Okay, so those can go there for the moment. And we have some vellum. Oh man, they've got to die cut some vellum. All right. So it looks like there's there's more than four. I'm not quite sure. There's stars, and then there's a big guitar pick, like an industrial strength guitar pick here. Now, this is vellum. And it's actually a little bit thicker than the vellum you buy in the store. You could utilize these edges for die cutting, um, little bits and parts, or you can use these strips. So definitely this is salvageable to use again. So I'm not going to toss that. And then we have Guitar Hero. Got stars in my eyes. All right. I, got <laughs> I was going to say chopsticks too, but they're drumsticks. But they kind of look like I could eat some sushi with that. All right, so it's nice. All this stuff is perforated, so you can easily pick pieces out. And then there's one guitar left. All right, so that's done. This one included a little sheet of mini glue dots. I'll be honest with you, I don't usually use these. I put them in my community glue dots container <laughs> in the middle of the room so that when people come and they don't have their own glue dots, they can pull from the community glue dots. I love using the glue dots that come on the roll like this. They're just easier to finagle. And then there's the piece of cardboard. I use that when I ship out classes. All right, lots of pieces. All right, let's study these cards. All right, we have yellow with the chopsticks. And then we have the guitars over there, backwards. Nope, this goes over here. The Your Legend goes with this one. You Rock, go that goes there. This goes here, the stars. So I kind of just divided up my piles to make sure I don't mess anything up. And let's look here. They've got the star behind the pick, I see that. Okay, let's fold this back. So we've got a star that goes on first. So we're going to start with yellow, I guess. And make sure they're all facing the same way. Good job. Not that we put, oh, that one was backwards. I would have put the an upside down. That's always a good thing to do. You could sponge the inside of the pick star for inside the card idea. Yes, you definitely could, Marsha Kulbert. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so let's see here what we've got going on. So it looks like they put the chopsticks on. I keep, I know they're drumsticks, but the, they look like chopsticks. So they put these on with like glue dots. Personally, I'm gonna just flip them over and run a little bit of liquid glue over them. And then the stars, it looks like they used, so there's, gosh, it's the thickest vellum ever. Holy Moses, like there's, they're thick, okay. So it looks like they've got three, you've got three dimensionals that go in the middle. So I'm not going to use those. You know what? I'm going for this one. I'm going to use up this. So three dimensionals. And we're getting to the point. You guys don't throw away your edging. It is completely usable. Just cut it into small pieces. Don't put it in the garbage until it's just a piece of paper. So we're going to put dimensionals. It's showing them near the middle, so that's why I'm kind of doing what they're doing. And there's that. Okay. All right, so let's pick these off. And then we'll put some glue on our chopsticks, and we'll get our chopsticks put down at the same time as we put a star down. All right. 
oh, you know what? My phone isn't charging. Hang on. I did this last night too. I plug it in and then I didn't have it plugged into the wall. <laughs> there we go. 13%. Good job. Good job. All right. So it's looking like I might just put the star down first. It shows it something like that. And let's get these guys. A little bit of liquid glue. Don't need a lot. We're going to go right through the middle like that. And I'll be careful they don't all overlap. Then this, this is just going to slide right underneath the star here. I think I liked doing that. So something like that that. Okay, so there's one. And then we'll put this star down. And then we'll put this star down. I still tested to make sure I had them facing the right way. And then we'll put this guy down. So if you have the music lovers in your family, or people who are friends that are musically inclined and love music, the cards are great for them. Definitely. I am not musically inclined. I had piano lessons when I was a little girl and I didn't do so good. I think we talked about this, that I think we said the, the song that I really know how to play is Chopsticks and I feel like we're working with Chopsticks now. So yes, definitely not me. You guys, I make up the words to songs as I go and I just go with the flow with it. There, so we got these four ready to go. And then it looks like these get glue dots and then the happy birthday gets dimensional. So now this is where it'd be good again to pull in your small dimensionals because you don't have to cut them. Otherwise, if you use, and it fell right there. If you use the big ones, you could trim them down. And we'll put one there and one more. So. It did say to use mini glue dots on your picks, but I think what I'll do, I don't generally like to use glue with vellum because it makes the vellum get warped. Uh, so that's maybe why they got the glue dots going on. Oh, that's stuck to my finger now. But I don't think that there's a reason why we couldn't do glue just in the middle here. So we're gonna do a little glue, glue, glue. There, and then those glue dots are perfect for vellum. They sure are. I definitely agree. But I'll be honest with you, it took me a lot less time to put a little line of liquid glue like I did than it did to pick all those off with my fingers. So I'm just going to set them in. He's in here. Yeah, the, the glue dots are perfect for vellum. But that was so much easier for me. And then it says, happy birthday, right here across that. And like that, it kind of lines up with the rock. And then this guy, like that. And then the stars. All right, let's see, I got stars in my eyes. Jukebox hero. We'll put the big one here. And it looks like they also have a big one down there. And then they have a small one up there. I like where they placed them on this one. They're really thick, not thick, like too thick, but they definitely have height to them. But if, I don't know if you guys can see, they're, they're like a little plastic, piece of plastic as a star. All right, so the big guy was down here and we'll put a big, a little one there, there. When you pick up these gems, any gems, you wanna make sure that you are getting the adhesive, especially if they're adhesive backed. You wanna get the adhesive and not leaving the adhesive on the plastic. All right, perfect. I don't own the rock and roll set yet, but if I did, I would probably find a sentiment from in there. Hopefully they would have a sentiment. In case you're wondering, for inquiring minds that wanna know, the rock legend rock and roll is on page 54. And this is what it looks like. You could stamp on here, have a rock and roll birthday. You could definitely do that on the inside. So this is what we've got for the rock and roll suite. So, very good. All right. Very nice, very nice. I'd say that these are complete for the moment. 
Hi, babies. Hi, little bigger tigger. All right, so then this one would go probably with the red, with the red envelope. Baby. Oh, Squeaker. Hi, Squeaker. Are you coming? Are you going to make it? I don't know if you're going to make it over here, buddy. There's a lot. To like, oh, man. All right, Hunky. He, he's coming over here, you guys. He wants to say hi. All right. Here's our hunkster. He's coming through. All right, buddy. Now what are you going to do? Yes. Okay, what are you going to do? We got to keep making cards, buddy. He just wants to, Oh, he wants to go in the window, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Honky. Buddy. Oh, you found a new window. Like, I never have the blind open on this window. It's always shut. So it was halfway to let the ice melt because the ice was all going across the window pane. All right, buddy. <laughs> you guys want to see here. Here you go. This is what he's... This is his view. There he is. He's looking out. Aw. There you are, buddy. Okay, guys. <laughs> there. You got to see a little hunky licious. Okay. We have four left, you guys. Look at this. 16 cards and not even an hour at the moment. All right. So we got these four. And these look like they're put on with dimensionals. So we'll flip them upside down. And we'll grab and put, I think we'll do two of these. That's my mom calling. She doesn't know I'm doing a live, you guys. But... <laughs> I'll, I'll call her back. I promise you guys, I'll call her back when we're done. She's probably just checking in and letting me know if we're going for a fish fry. All right. So these also get popped up with dimensionals. And then we're going to... Oh, look at this, you guys. We finished it. Very good. Hunky, right? What's going on, buddy? You're like so buzzy buzzies. So now we'll go into this sheet. I think I'll just use four here. So I don't generally put the dimensionals so close to the edge, right, that the middle gets saggy. So if I put them like here and here, then I don't generally put one in the middle, but we don't like the saggy middle syndrome. So you could always put one right in the middle like that. And then here and here. These are definitely sticky dimensionals. Up there. All right, and then we'll do these. Now, it's saying that the guitar gets put on with the glue dots, which I'll probably just use liquid glue. And the picks here get put on with, it's showing dimensionals as well. And I like dimensionals, so let's, we'll do that. So let's put these, I'm trying to figure out. So the, it shows them, oh, geez. Okay, here's a trick. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. So with vellum, you can see through the vellum where the dimensionals go. <laughs> Emily says, hi. Oh yes, you're such a squeaky boy. Okay, let's pick these off. And Tigger was in here. I don't know where Honey Bell is, but she's roaming around. So I'll put that one ready. And this one. And this one. I like how they printed this one on here already. Instead of using another mat, they just printed it right on the card base. So we have like crookedness going on, right? So you gotta kind of offset this like, like that. Body, yes. Okay, so there's one. And again, crookedness like that. And offset like that. <clears throat> one more. One moment, please. We have one more. Okay. There's that. Okay. So what's happening is this pick, buddy. Da da da. I know. No pulling on this string, little man. Da da da. Honky. Buddy, you got to work with me here. <laughs> We're doing class, buddy. You're not going to be allowed up here if you're going to start playing with my cords, buddy. Da-da-da. Okay, you're gone. Come on. Oh, buddy. 
okay, guys. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> that that was not planned. Like that was an accident. Hunky like took the light with him. Okay, we're good. All's good. He's not here anymore. <laughs> okay, back on track. So, <laughs> you guys, he likes to play with those cords from the blinds. Like he's a kitten yet, right? So. He's still playful, and he still thinks he can play with whatever he wants, but we know better, right? <laughs> Man. Okay, so what I'm getting at is I didn't want to put glue or adhesive uh, where the vellum is going to be exposed, okay? So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm setting this here, and I'm going to set my guitar over kind of where it's going to be, and I think I'm going to put the adhesive in the area here that's going to connect to the pick like that okay something like that that's kind of what <laughs> I'm going for and that will go yeah so something like that okay then the the you are a rock legend here or your legend this is going to so I'm just going to set this on here I know it's not glued down we're going to set this like that and this is going to go on here something like that okay now, the, so this is popped, this is popped up. I think what they did is they popped up the pick. But what we could do is wherever the vellum is covered up is where you could put more dimensionals. So you see I put four of them here and they're all basically behind things. So now when we put this down, you didn't risk. So let's see if our card is like this, like that. Okay, so it's stuck, it's all good. So we've got your legend, we've got that. All we have to do on this one now is put the red stars. Okay, so that wasn't so crazy. So let's try that again. But now, now that I know where they are, I could in theory put this here, put this here, okay? And then I know one's gonna go here because I've got a guide now from the first one where stuff is going to go. And that's gonna go something like that. And then our guitar hero has the dimensional over here. So I popped up just the bottom corner of that. All right, so those are ready to go. And we could grab this guy right here right there, right there, right? Cause that's where everything will get covered. And then we got one left to do. I like to go back to the original one here. So we got in here, right there. And one mas, right there. Okay, so now we can pick these off. Pick this off. All right, so we've got that ready. Back on track. So now our guitar we're fine putting a little bit of liquid glue there. Again, you guys got the glue dots. You could definitely use glue dots. And this is gonna go across, something like that. And <laughs> my garbage is just full of dimensionals, <laughs> the, the backings. Okay, see, these dimensionals are gonna get covered up now. It goes right about here. I'm trying to keep the sentiment straight with the card. That's kind of what my goal was. So there's that one. Let's flip this over here. Grab that. And grab this. I don't know, something like that. Something like that. Perfect. Nice, very nice. Guys, we're on the final countdown. So something like that, I guess. Put this right there. And then it'll go right like that. Perfect. Now, this one has five gems, I'm seeing. Five stars. I'm seeing stars, I'm seeing stars. So we can put these back here. You guys, I got my replenishment, so I was out of these for a moment, but now I've got them back, 
in case anybody's still interested in one of the Be Creative caddies that holds all of your supplies. If you're interested, reach out to me. I do have um, a, a bunch of those available now if anybody's still looking. And the bow makers too. I got a ton of bow makers and about 40 bow makers in now. So um, if you want bow makers, let me know. All right, so these gems, I have my pick angled slightly different. I'm seeing. So if you look at my card here, I don't have as much pick showing right here as they do. And that's okay. I'm going with that. I can, I can make do. So I'm going to put a big one there and a small one like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that on all of them. I'm good with something like that. And I have it part on the pick, part off the pick for the little guy. And then here, and then there. Okay, so that's two. Then I'm gonna put, I think, one up here and two here. They're just gonna be slightly different from the picture. So we're gonna do one there One there, I think. Let's move it so it's all the way on. And let's move you. Oh, once it's down, I think it's down. Like the goo didn't want to come back up. Yeah, the goo stayed down. So we're keeping it as it is. And what we'll do is we'll add one up there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one here. Put one there. So it looks very uniform. I'm trying to not make it look so uniform. And then we'll put one guy up there, one guy there. And you're gonna end up with some extra gems, which is cool. You can use them for, if you have that rock and roll suite, you can use them in that. And put one there and then let's use up the last big guy up there and then I've got some left over here six or eight of them left over and you also had some gems oopsies you had some gems left over from the first one you guys I couldn't plan for hunky to knock the light over you guys I didn't mean for that to happen but it just went poof, down <laughs> and that's how we roll all right I think we're back on track there all right so Stella whatever you want to we got this one completed to its entirety. We got eight cards done on this one. So these four, and then we've got these four. Again, if you want more structure to the card, you could have uh, definitely for this one, cut this mat or cut this base and make it into two mats, a white mat for the inside, the yellow mat for the top. And you could have easily, I could see it now. If you would take, I don't have, uh, let's get here, basic black. Here, if you would have matted this onto a black base, it would have been super cool too. It would have tied in all of the black. So if you would have cut this down to five and a quarter by four, and then you could have used the white, even though this is yellow. Well, actually, you know what? So use this for the outside. And then on the inside, you could double mat it and then take a piece of white and mat yellow and white on the inside. So then you could utilize it. And if you don't want a double mat, you could have always used the this piece for something else in your creating process too. But definitely could have done that. I should have done that for at least one of them. Didn't even think about it until we were done. The panda was too hard to really double or to, to change up the mat, so cool. All right, so there you go. We did it, we did it, yay. All right, we got eight done and we got eight done. Didn't even drink any coffee really. All right, so we did the panda friends. And we did the rock legend kit. So <laughs> besides getting our insides done, you guys, we got 16 cards done um, in like about an hour. Cause I, I think we chatted for about 10, 15 minutes before we got started. So did you guys like them? Like, does it inspire you? Do you feel like you have a need for one of these kits in your life or as a gift for somebody? Um, or for a party, like a kid's birthday party, like this would be perfect. If you're doing a boy's party, like I think little boys might make cards like this. I guess, I don't know. I've not been to a boy's birthday party ever in my life that I know of. Maybe I just crashed my brothers when they were younger, but <laughs> awesome. So uh, we did good. Okay, yay. Whew, with a little minor distraction from Hunky, but you guys, he just wants you to know he loves you too. So he <laughs> he had to get in here and see what was going on. Um, okay, 
I didn't forget. We're going to do the drawing for the celebration, celebration board number three. So one moment, please. I'm going to go get my little slips. So... Okay, so we have what we do. Let's see here. I'm gonna show you guys really quick too. Two, four, six, eight. I'm missing just one card. Which one might I be missing? Hang on. Um, oh yeah, I remember. The, the one from last night is over here. Okay, so I do have some new people that are watching as well. I just did an, a huge event this past weekend. It was called the Winter Creative Escape. Uh, we made nine make and takes. There's eight creative presentations. There's a 3D project that was a make and take. There was swap card samples galore. There were um, displays galore. And so I'm going to keep telling everybody this. I still have about seven spots left. We didn't sell out. Um, I actually opened it up to uh, customers as well. So um, originally it was demonstrators only. And then at the end, like I opened it up because I had some boxes left. Um, and so that's what, when I flip the camera back, you can see there was a few boxes around. I do have seven spots. And so I just want to share really quickly um, the nine make and take. So you'd get kits for all these cards to make these nine cards. So if you guys, anybody was still on the fence about wanting to sign up, I'm going to try for another week to see if anybody else wants to get in on doing the escape. It's not too late uh, to get in because you could do the virtual option, which is having access to a private Facebook group. On Tuesday, we're going to, at 10 o'clock, we're going to do a private class in that Facebook group making these nine cards. I already did a demonstration showing how to make your 3D project. Um, you get a goodie bag valued at $50. Um, including lots of ribbon and embellishments and paper. And then the thing that Tyler helped me pick out was your little lunchbox that we had the Stampin' Up! logo put on to give you guys a way of free gift in your with your registration. You get this gift, and it's a little lunchbox. And so um, we have where it opens up, and there's a little metal case. Oh, it was caught there. There's a little metal case inside that has like a tray. Um, so some people are using it for crafting and some people are using it for food. It's however you want to use it. So, um, yeah, so that was everybody's, one of their little attendance gifts that everybody got. Um, the other attendance gifts were crafting related that Chris Dudrenke made for everybody. So yes, so if anybody wants to get in on that, just reach out to me, email me, text me, Facebook message me, however you want to. But this is what, um, I've been doing for now probably five years. I can't remember when we made that board. It was probably, I made it actually in 2017. Um, and for every $50 that you purchase with me in one or in, the, in an order, so like if you order $100 or $200 or $150, it's, if it's $150, you, you get your name on the board three times. And if it's uh, $250, it's five times. If it's $50, it's one time. And then if you order again, it's a name again. So I am putting names on the board as I, so you don't have to worry if you're not, local to me. I am watching the orders as they come in and I'm putting your name on. And so like a lot of these people right here are not local to me people. These are my um, people that are not necessarily in the area. And so as the orders come in, I put their name on. So we are through, I think January 7th or so for names. And so after this board, we do the drawing. Um, I will Start over with more stickers or like more post-it notes and it'll I'll have a board number four full as well. And so if it's, I'm pretty sure four will be full. And I have class here tomorrow. I love to do the drawing with you guys in a live class or in a live, live class here in person. And so I have got the Be Mine class tomorrow morning and I will do a drawing for board number four if it's full. And I, I'm pretty sure it is gonna be full um, because I still have people that placed orders between like January 8th and today's already the 18th is today the 19th so yeah so what I'm doing is then so the name goes on the square and then every 25 names I do a drawing and figure out a $25 gift certificate for somebody to get product it's not for classes it is for stamping up product these names are going on the board based off of orders and so when you win a $25 gift certificate it's for stamping up product and so Debbie Gass won last night's drawing for board number two and so she gets to pick $25 worth of product uh, for a little gift as a thank you. So, okay, so we're gonna flip this down and I've got 25 numbers in here, you guys. I'm very scientific here. I took old scratch paper and I wrote every number on here. <laughs> so we're gonna do drum roll. 
Okay, so winner, winner, chicken dinner is going to be number, this number right here, 12. Okay, so let's flip this back. Number 12 was the number. Number 12 is Donna Gruszki. Yay, Donna. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. So we're going to go right here so you guys can see. Number 12 is Donna Gruszki. Very good. So awesome. Congratulations to Donna. So you might still be watching, or if you're not, I'll reach out to you. So, um, so Debbie and Donna, both of you guys aren't local to me. So when you want to let me know what you'd like to get, um, I can include it in your next package that we have going out. So, uh, like I don't recommend 12 by 12 paper unless you want me to cut it down to six by six, but like, um, something like an embellishments or ribbon or adhesives or a stamp set or 12, uh, six by six paper, something that would fit into the normal pot, the bubble mailer that we have, which is six by 10 would be amazing. And, uh, it's $25 worth of product. And so I uh, don't have to worry about tax or shipping. So if you tell me $24, something for $25, something for $23, uh, that's perfect. Like, um, it can be exactly $25 too, whatever you want it to be. So, uh, I love it to give back for during celebration. Uh, it's a great time of year for uh, not only to stamp it up, give you a free item for every $50 you spend. I get your name on the board. And then the other thing I do during celebration is I do a celebration celebration in March. And so if you spend $150 with me during the month of January and February, so basically between January 4th and February 28th, uh, you get invited to my a private invitation to my celebration celebration. Now it's a YouTube class that I do, but you get the make and takes like the product and the make and take is actually that 3d project that I just showed you. I kind of like double dip things. So I use that as the 3d project for the escape, but then I also, uh, uh, have everything already actually for the celebration celebration. So you'll get another kit to make another box, which is super cool. Cause then you can always gift one. If you get both of them by, cause you are part of the, a party and you are part of the escape, you could always save one as a sample and then you could gift the other one. Or you could gift them both, or you can save them both. They're yours to do whatever you guys want. <laughs> I don't have a preference. <laughs> as long as you're happy making them and you make them, that is always my goal. Uh, so, uh, so during celebration, I keep track of your orders. And so once you have $150, just know that you um, are invited to my celebration celebration. Uh, you do have to confirm when I send out like the message saying, hey, who wants to attend it? I do appreciate that you confirm that you want it. Uh, not that sometimes people don't want things uh, and then it sits forever and collects dust. That's not cool either. <laughs> so, uh, so celebration, celebration is uh, like to celebrate an awesome celebration. Um, so anything else during celebration too is the best time to sign up. I think we have about 12 new happy, be happy stampers uh, that joined uh, in the month of January, since January 4th. And so you guys can, I'll be sending you a little sticker like this in the mail and a little magnet. The magnet looks like this. So for those that just joined and had a package, I did, I was able to get some magnets in the mail. I had these made up. Actually, I helped make these a couple years ago. I made so many extra and I've been giving them away to my team members as they join as like a little thank you for joining the Be Happy Stampers and everybody that joins my team. Um, the first time that they join, they get that. It's sometimes people <laughs> will join and drop and join and drop and join and drop and I don't give it every time. <laughs> so it's just the first time that you join my team and that little sticker is the first time. So uh, very cool. So we've had about 12 people that have joined the Be Happy Stamper since January 4th. So that's awesome. We would welcome you with open wings if you want to join the team. Um, you get this, uh, you know, the option of getting this glass mat. So we've been showing that off, uh, which is kind of cool. I like to tap on it with my fingers if you guys haven't noticed. You can choose the glass mat with the little extra, this silicone, this little silicone tray thing comes with it and um, a little chamois, or you can get an extra $30 worth of product. It's your call, what you want to choose. So yay. Okay, so uh, if you guys missed it, last night I did show off a lot of the classes that are coming up for January. We just did the monthly class last night. We have the Be Mine next week. Um, paper Pumpkin will be next Thursday. I did get all my Paper Pumpkins in today, so if anybody still needs to get a January Paper Pumpkin and you missed it, I have about four left. Uh, and they're not here. <laughs> they just got delivered by my mailman today. So they are sitting by my front door and I haven't carried them back here yet. So I do have about four of the January paper pumpkin in case anybody's interested. Um, we have the garden meadow class coming up on the 1st of February, which is not, it's like three weeks or two weeks. It's two weeks from today. 
Um, ink, paper, scissors, perennial lavender. Um, we have that coming up on the 31st. Uh, Diane's also doing that in person on the 30th. Uh, we kitted up 96, and I think we are planning to kit up eight more. So there were a few people that reached out to me in the last two days to see if they could still get in on the class. And yes, you can, but we need to kit it now. Um, so I have to build that into our schedule of when we're going to kit eight more sets. And I leave for Florida next week, Thursday, you guys. I'm going down to Florida to visit some friends in Miami, where I used to live for about five years in my younger year, in my 20s. I lived there from like age 25 to 31, which was a great time. So I haven't been down there in about three years. So I'm going back to visit some friends down in Miami. And then I'm making my way up to the Venice area and going up to Tampa to visit a couple of my team members, uh, Cheryl Taylor and Penny Powell. And Penny has a few people on her team that we're visiting with. And I think Susan Bellamy might be potentially getting in the mix of all of this. So, um, so I'll be gone next week, Thursday through Tuesday. And so about kidding up the ink, paper, scissors, we'll try to make it happen before I leave. But if anybody signs up like yesterday or the day before, we were already out of kits basically. And so we're going to make those eight up. I just don't know if I will have them mailed to you in time for class. And so we can, we can only do what we can do, right? So um, Sherry Everett said, did you happen to something? And I, it says TOD, and I'm not sure what that means, Sherry Everett. So did I happen to, and you meant to ask, um, to do, did you happen to do my list of cha charges for February? I haven't, Sherry. Uh, it's on my list to do. I have gotten um, a handful of people who, um, there's like about 12 of you gals that take every class with me every month. And I think I have about five of you that have your list done already. And I have about seven more to do. And Sherry, I need, I have a little book. I don't know if I have it out here. Um, I might have left it in the house. I have a little notepad where I keep it in now versus doing post-it notes. I have a little baby notebook that I have since the beginning of the year. So in case I have any questions, I can always go back and flip through my pages of my little baby notebook to find that. So Sherry, I have to do yours yet. I should say I get to do yours yet. Um, so I do know that every class you will be signed up for. <laughs> so, um, but I'll send it to you as soon as I have it. And there was something from the past, I think that we needed to add on there as well. I think the Kellogg launch party. So um, we'll get that all shored up here soon. Um, yeah, I think that that might be it. Again, I've got a monthly class tomorrow on Be Mine. And then we've got class on Monday night in person here with Be Mine. And then we'll be back with you guys for sure on Monday, no, Wednesday night for the Be Mine. But the showcase will also be on Wednesday sometime during the day. And we'll figure out where we can sneak in the year end guessing. You know what I should do? I should do that while I'm in Miami. <laughs> Just bring myself, you know, like bring everything with me and do it from down there. Because that's all I have to do is read through questions and answers. I wonder if I could do that while I'm down there. Because I'm visiting a friend and she works and I'll have some time during the day. <laughs> we'll have to see how much I can accomplish, you guys. Um, so, yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know. Did I miss anything? I'm looking around. I'm not looking back there because I know what that means. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that figured out, too. All right, you guys. I think I'll sign off for now. Uh, we're going to work on designing Let's Just Stamp, uh, which features hooray for surprises, I think. That's what we're doing for the Let's Just Stamp. Uh, and we're going to use the Sunny Days designer paper. So we're going to work on designing those three cards this afternoon. And if we can, we're going to start working on the monthly as well. And then after that, I've got about two more classes that I get to design. I cannot wait to do the Memories and More class. I have so much fun designing Memories and More, you guys. The cards and the note, the note, um, the note, they're not note cards. They're no, the note, they're bases and the envelopes are so pretty. They're like Peacock and uh, like Sweet Sorbet and then the note. Like the card pack is so awesome. I'm so like chomping at the bit to get those cards designed. So fun. Okay, so lots of designing is going to happen over the course of the next three or four days to get us pretty much ready for February for that showcase on Wednesday. Um, when I know the time, I will probably be creating an event for it in Facebook as well as email it out so that if anybody wants to try to watch it live, you can. Um, so that's how we go. Just know though that once I do the showcase, uh, and I leave for Florida the next day. And I'll be working on getting and processing the emails as I can. So, okay, we did it, you guys. 
We got through an amazing kit class. Um, double whammy, double kits for you today. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed them and saw how easy they were to put together and found some inspiration in them. Um, I think that's it then, you guys. Uh, lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs to you. We'll see you again soon. Love you long time. I'll count to 10 because it always seems to cut early on me, but just know I'm just counting to 10 and that's it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 